Welcome back to the third World Race Series 2021 Team Showcase, featuring the Wangan Midnights, your beat blasting, precision drifting, toge running profession. This team has one rule, and that's each car must be a 90s JDM car. This team is beyond the favorites to win the title, based on car choice alone. Though it is still fair game as the only rule is that the cars must not be drift competition cars. Instead, these are 90s JDM icons, taken from the street and built to drift, just as all the other teams are doing with their race cars. The only thing letting this team down is inexperience getting to victory lane, with only one of their drivers ever winning a World Race Series race, that being Jay Carriber. But perhaps Lady Luck will be in their favor and they could turn it around this season. To start off, we have the Super Stalkers class driver, Laura Martinez, aka Wolf Air, driving the number 5 1992 Nissan S13 Silvia. This car is a JDM icon, but it's not exactly the performance highlight of the team. Though speed does not necessarily mean good drifting performance, Wolf Air has had little to no success in the World Race Series until last year in the NASCAR Special, where she nearly won and finished second. I highly doubt those NASCAR skills will help here, but it may indicate that she is improving behind the wheel. Next up is Vivian Wynn, the Bandit, driving the number 7 1997 Mazda FD RX-7. Vivian, unlike Laura, has had misfortune all throughout their WRX career, only having an inkling of success in last year's stock car race, winning the pole and leading laps early before being wrecked. Perhaps it means they're in for a breakout year this time around. Though it may not be the fastest car in the stock ultras class, the Bandit's ride certainly has my vote for the best looking. I mean, just look at that paint job. Next is their Interceptors class driver, Jay Sean Carabert, aka the President, in the number one 2002 Nissan GTR V-Spec, which has been converted to rear-wheel drive. Now the speeds are really ramping up with this absolute beast of a car, perhaps the most Japanese car of all time. Behind the wheel is a one-time race winner, making him the most successful on the team. He has struggled since that win in 2017, but perhaps this amazing car can help the President to turn it around. For the race spec class is their team leader, Julio Sanchez, aka Lucky Tito. Statistically, Tito is the most successful driver on their team. Though he has not won yet, he has a respectable 7 top 10 finishes, more than the others on his team. He drives the number 0 2005 Honda NSX-R, widely considered to be the peak of old school JDM, and the only exception from their 90s car affiliation. Though it is the slowest of the race spec class cars in the World Race Series 2021 lineup, it is one of the most balanced and will make a great drift car. Though they don't have much success in racing, they do have experience in chemistry as a team. That chemistry will play a big part in making sure each driver's strengths are properly utilized when it comes down to the event. Though they are the favorites to win based on car class, I think their flaws will balance it out and will make for a very close points battle. And that's a wrap for the Long Gun Midnights. Tune in next time for the team showcase of the Lift Kit Racing Team, which are taking off-road vehicles to the drift circuit. You heard that right, off-road vehicles. Until then, take care and happy racing.